Hello, it's Karn from the Educational Technologies Department. And in today's quick tip, I want to go over basic settings for Synergy Sync and Google Classroom. Let's take a look. All right, so when setting up your Synergy Sync with your Google Classroom for the first time, there's some general settings you need to make sure you have ready to go. So we're going to start out by going to our main gradebook. From our main gradebook, we want to come here to our Google Universal settings. Those are found here in the little Google G up at the upper right hand corner of your screen. When we click those Google Universal settings, we are then going to come down here to our Google Preferences. When we open up those Google Preferences, there are several things that we can take a look at. First is your session auto sync. If you have this check marked, every time you log into Synergy, it's going to sync all of your classrooms. This is great if you don't want to have to think about syncing that regularly. You can turn it off if you want to manually sync as you go. Then here for the default point value, this is probably the most important setting in your Synergy sync. By default, this is set to a specific number that's not going to work for you because here in the background what we want is we always want our max score and our point value to match if we leave it set to this our point value is always going to be set to 10 or 1 or whatever the number is here so change this setting to match max score value for an explanation of all these other settings you can take a look at our more detailed video scroll to the bottom here and you are going to click done once you have that done, you will notice that every time you create an assignment, the max and the point value match. If you see anything else, that's going to cause your grades to average incorrectly. Now, something else you need to think about as you're working with the Synergy Sync is that during that sync, assignments may not be assigned to the correct grading term every time. So you're going to need to do about once a week something that we call a gradebook audit. To do that gradebook audit, you're going to come here to your gradebook menu and down to assignments. Here in assignments, there's a couple of settings you need. First, you want to check mark this box that says show all periods page size. Next, you want to make sure that this window has a number that is larger than the total number of assignments that you have given so far this semester. You can always set it to 200. That way it should collect everything for you. Then you're going to click on grading periods. Here you will see the grading periods that each assignment has been assigned to. Now I'm set up as a high school teacher, so if I'm running a cumulative grade book, I want everything from the first six weeks to also apply to the second second, the third, and the semester. Notice that my semester one has not been selected. So I can click all here to apply it to all. If I have an assignment, like let's say my DNA model creation, that's not supposed to be in the first six weeks, I can uncheck it and leave it applied to all of the others. Whenever you make changes here, you want to click save grading periods at the top. By doing this weekly, you can ensure that your gradebook is always set correctly. Please see your administration regarding whether you are running a cumulative gradebook or some other, and what assignments should be assigned to each term. These two things are going to help you ensure that your Synergy Sync works smoothly every time. Thanks, and we'll see you for our next quick tip.